What's up everybody, this is Hemoid, aka Deep Fryer, bringing you another Super Stream video. Today, we are going to be looking at some PvP footage that has been pre-recorded. Uh, what I decided to do to try to accomplish making some entertaining PvP videos is each time I have a PvP match versus a live person, what I'm doing is I'm just recording it. And if it's one of those matches that is over in five seconds that are not entertaining at all, I've been deleting the video. But if the match is somewhat entertaining, I've been keeping it. That is the only way I could think of to try to, you know, get some footage for PvP to kind of put it together into one video for you guys so that I can just watch it with you and I can maybe do some commentary on the matches, kind of what my mindset was for some of these matches, what kind of strategies I'm trying to do. Um, but anyway, I've got five matches here for us to take a look at. Now it's already clocking in at about 18 and a half minutes. So I'm going to try not to pause um, in, in order to keep things moving along so that, you know, you guys don't have your entire day taken up watching PvP. But anyway, let's take a look at the first match. Here we go. Alright, let's see who I'm up against this time. Okay, so I'm taking Hasty, my strongest tank. You know, we, we gotta open with our strongest tank in our first PvP video. Let's see if I can go full screen here. There we go. Okay, they picked Kang Song Young and Wan Soul. I got Kawuka and Uchida. Um, I'm thinking with Kawuka, I can dispel Wan Soul's immortality if he goes immortal and Kawuka is still alive. Now they brought Min Jung Woo, and I ended up bringing Hong Gildong. You'll find that I like bringing Hong Gildong as a counter to uh, crowd control units because not a lot of people are expecting it, and it, it throws them off sometimes. I've even had a few people quit on me when I brought on Gildong and opened with the debuff block move because I have my best speed gear, or at least some of my best speed gear on Hong. So, a lot of people are not expecting that. So let's take a look. So as I said, I'm opening with the uh, debuff block move from Hong so that Kang Songyong cannot sleep me. Now I'm also outspeeding the enemy with Uchida, so it looks like I got a full freeze proc on the enemy team, which is fantastic. Now I shielded Hasty with Kawuka because it's two turns of shield. I knew Hasty was about to take a turn, so if I shielded someone else and Hasty got the shield, and she took a turn, the shield would fall right back off of there. So I shielded her so that she had two turns of shield, so that um, when someone does an AoE attack, like this right here, Hasty does not take any damage. And now Hasty has all, or, yes, Hasty has also propped Kang Suki's Immortal Retaliation. And here comes Wan Soul with his ultimate savage damage versus Uchida. Now that hurt. That hurt a lot. I'm going to try to salvage Uchida's uh, health pool by throwing a heal on Uchida. And I have dispelled Kang Suki's heal over time buff that she receives when she goes immortal. Now Kang Song Young is trying to sleep me and he did succeed in sleeping Uchida because that debuff blocker had fallen off. So I think the opponent was just kind of taking what they could get at that point. Now I'm going to be using the defensive move from Hasty, and there you go, the opponent decided that they had lost, they knew that the match was incredibly in my favor, so, uh, you know, sometimes with, a, with an interesting match like that, someone still ends up quitting. I hate to lose the opportunity for, you know, showing you guys some entertaining PvP footage just because someone quits a couple of turns before the match is over. So I went ahead and decided to keep that one, just so we can have a little bit of fun. But anyway, it looks like I'm opening with Soquan and Agite, and the opponent has Kawuka and Van so far. I have taken one soul, so I've got three Immortals. Um, immortals are, immortality is a very, very strong 
game mechanic, especially in PvP. So, I think it's a pretty strong team that I'm putting together, and we will see what the enemy has to answer it with. They're going with Cornelia and Lilia. Those are some interesting choices. Now, I went ahead and went with Hong Gildong again. For two reasons. Number one, I'm not sure which van they're bringing. In case uh, they're bringing the Indra van that does the AoE damage received debuff, I didn't want that debuff on my team. And also, Lilia, you know, as we all know, has the strongest bleed in the game. So, I went ahead and went with Hong again. One of my new favorite units to use in PvP. So let's see if I'm able to outspeed the enemy. That's another key with Hong. Uh, she does not have a divine speed fate tie. So you really need to put some really, really good speed gear on Hong in order to get her going first. It looks like I've uh, uh, taken the lead here again. Opening with the debuff block. And now the enemy's Kawuka is going. Now, Kawuka could have used the ultimate to remove that debuff block off my team, but instead, Kawuka chose to shield Van. Now, that was actually probably a really good move. I agree with my opponent. That's what I would have done as well. Because as you see, uh, Van was attacking Sopan, and Sopan re retaliated, but Van did not take any damage because of the Kawuka shield. Now, they have already uh, dropped Agitate to one hit point and... He has transformed, and we're trying to see if there's any way that we can salvage this match. We got a full AoE stun from Agite, so that is absolutely fantastic. This man, Agite, is a monster. He can turn the tide of a battle uh, quite easily. But, this one does not seem to be going my way so far. The enemy team seems to be mostly... Uh, high health, still. But I'm trying to do something about that. We've got Cornelia. Low hit points. We need to try to kill her as soon as possible because she has crazy, crazy heals. She's just gonna undo all of that DTS I've done and you're about to see it right here. This move from Cornelia, look at the enemy's health. Everyone's full except for Cornelia and she's um, still, you know, over half health. This far into the battle, that is just absolutely disgusting. Okay, so we've got two resources on the Hong, which means we can give someone uh, invulnerability for a turn if we need to. I'm using my defensive move uh, with Sopan in order to try to gain some of his hit points back and negate some of the incoming damage. Uh, what is this enemy's name? Chianti? Chianti is bringing the fight to me for sure. Give me a run for my money. Ouch! That was a very devastating attack from Kawuka. And now it looks like Van is going to get a uh, double ultimate, I think. Yes, Van is getting a double ultimate and causing me all kinds of problems. So now, Wansul has uh, activated his immortality and he has two turns to try to do something. But this is just all kinds of hurt that the enemy is laying on me right now. Let's see if there's any possible way that I can salvage this battle. It is certainly not looking good. Down goes Sopon, and at this point, we, we all know what's coming. I lost this match, but it was entertaining. It had some decent fight mechanics to it. Uh, it had... An inter some interesting teams. So I went ahead and kept this footage and hey, we keep it real here uh, at, at Deep Fryer Gaming. And you know, we're not ashamed. You, you win some, you lose some. Same way in life. You win some, you lose some. But fortunately, you can't lose them all. So let's see if we can get ourselves another win in match number three. Uh, we're certainly trying, especially as you see, I'm taking Hasty this match. The enemy is bringing Hasiwu and Wan Hayo. Very strong units, very intimidating units to go up against because Hasiwu can basically, if she's fast enough, make sure that their entire team goes first. 
That is a very dangerous mechanic. Now I have, I am bringing Agite again. This time I'm bringing Kang Suho. Now Kang Suho, I have made my fastest unit in order to try to counter Wan Hyo. Because um, Kang Suho gives himself a, a, uh, a debuff resistance buff at the beginning of a fight, but it only works about half the time for resisting Wan Hyo's ob uh, not oblivion, um, confusion at the beginning of a fight. But now, if I remember correctly, I think there might be something, uh, something strange. Well, not strange, but I think... Okay, yes. Um, I actually made a mistake. I had changed, or uh, I would upgraded some of my gear on Hong Gildong. And she is actually faster than Kang Suho now. So it actually ended up being Hong that got confused. So that was a little disappointing. I was hoping that the confusion from Wan Hyo would go on to Kang Suho. And he would resist that. But... Unfortunately, Hong Yildong was the one who got the confusion, so I could not use my debuff block skill. I was trying to use that debuff block skill to block this right here. Because Yak has really, really made this fight interesting by applying that AoE silence and damage received debuff to my team. Um, this is not looking good. Hasty is already dead. Uh, at least I, I may, I've been able to kill their Hasewu also, so no more turn meter manipulation. Bye bye Hasewu. But this is still a very very tough battle right now. We are going to see if I can salvage it. I recorded these videos over a period of, you know, a few days. I mean, I don't remember every single detail about every single fight. I just, I just kind of threw them together. I, I kept the ones I knew were at least somewhat entertaining. So I kind of just, you know, threw them into a video, one right after the other, so that I can watch them with you guys and bring you the PvP content that you guys were asking for. So hopefully we can have a little bit of fun watching these together, talking about the fights. Now, Agite has transformed, but... You cannot do anything to Kawuka because Kawuka is still locked in that PvP mode with Kang Suho. We're just gonna go ahead, um, looks like I went ahead and used Agite's ultimate. We've got Wan Hyo stunned. Uh, looks like I'm gonna try to heal up a bit. Very nice, now Agite is nearly full health. Kang Suho is biding his time trying to... trying to wait out that Kawuka shield. And now Kawuka is using the ultimate attack to try to stop my team. It looks like... Looks like I have lost again. So, like I said, we keep it real. Here's match four. So far, I'm only one, uh, one for three. So, we really need to, uh, do something to bring those numbers back into my favor. Uh, looks like I'm choosing Hasi Wu first this time. I do that occasionally. I like to lead with a tank. Because I've only, I only have two tanks that are truly, truly, really strong, strong enough to bring into a difficult PvP match and still have some confidence that that the tank can carry the burden of the weight of you know the match, a difficult PvP match. So, um, so I usually pick a tank first so that I make sure that I can get one of my tanks that are that are really good. But sometimes I pick Hossi Wu also in order to kind of uh, make sure I can get myself some some turn meter boosts, some some attack boost, some crit rate boost. Because um, I have Hossie Wu's skill 4 up to at least level 3. I think it's 3. Is it 3 or 4? Either way, I know for a fact I've got the attack boost 2 and the crit boost 2 uh, on Hossie Wu's ultimate. So, uh... Looks like the enemy is bringing Kawuka, Hasty, John Yonha, and Cornelia. That's a very, very scary team. So let's see if I'm able to pull this off. I brought Kang Song Yong to try to deal with Hasty. One of the main reasons I brought him is to try to deal with Hasty. Because Hasty, of course, the Ion Rifle Hasty has that nasty, nasty retaliation when you attack teammates. Looks like I have managed to put to sleep Kawuka, Hasty, and Cornelia. 
That is a 3 out of 4 proc on Kang Song Young's sleep, which is really, really good. And it looks like we are removing the shield from Jung Young Ha so that, uh, so that So Kwon can begin attacking him. And we're just going to try to kill Jung Young Ha while everyone else is asleep. Kind of pick him off a little bit without waking the others up if we can help it. That is our objective. Now, I used skill 1 from Ajite instead of skill 2, because I knew Jun Youngho was about to die, so I did not want to waste that stun. I wanted to save that stun for someone else on Ajite's um, Ring EX skill 2. Okay. Looks like Hasty is no longer asleep, so I'm beginning to target Hasty. And now the enemy is the enemy team is fully awakened. But now, since I saved that stun on Agi Day, and there you have it. The enemy knew that they were a little bit outmatched. Not maybe not necessarily outmatched, but I had RNG on my side since I got that wonderful three out of four prop on Kang Sam Young's sleep. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. The fight has to go someone's way, someone has to lose. That's just the name of the game. So I'm bringing, looks like I'm bringing another A-Team, two tanks, uh, I'm bringing both Soquan and Hasty, um, and Ajite. The enemy is bringing, oh, interesting, Tina and Kang Suho, uh, Yoon Bin Mera, and Won Hyo. And I'm bringing Hong. The, br the reason I'm bringing Hong Gildong is, um, well, number one, to counter Tina's um, uh, debuff salad, uh, debuff extravaganza, Debuff smorgasbord, whatever you want to call it, that, uh, uh, debuff, um, the debuffs that Tina brings to the fight are absolutely relentless, and they can stack up on you really fast. So I wanted Hong, but now Hong is of course confused at the beginning of the fight because of one high up. You know, sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. Now it looks like uh, Tina has used skill 3 to curse my team and increase their team's turn meter. Okay, one Hyo actually missed a couple of people with that attack, so that's good to see. That might have been enough just to kind of help steer things in our direction and in our favor for this match. Now, as you tell you, who am I going to stun? I'm going to stun Tina because I know that Tina would have transform transformed in a moment and would have probably done an AOE Oblivion to try to Oblivion Soquan, Hasty, Agite. You know, I've got a full team of units that, that have strong passives. So, Tina would have loved to Oblivion me, but I used uh, the stun to kind of shut her down for at least one turn. So let's see what happens here. Okay, now Agite skill 3 with the ring um, reduces turn meter by 100%. So, who am I going to use that on? Looks like I chose to use a, a skill 1 attack against you, Bitnera. I was hoping to kill her in that move, but it didn't happen. But, uh, okay, so now I'm going to do the debuff block with Hong to try to uh, prevent any more of those Tina debuffs. And now Tina is transforming, and probably Tina is either going to give the enemy team their attack boost or she's going to try to Oblivion me. If I were, if I were the enemy, I would probably try to Oblivion since Yun Bitnara is going next, and that's what they're doing. Because if Yun, uh, oh... The Oblivion debuff missed on Agitate. That was critical for our team. And as you see, Agitate would be dead right now if that Oblivion debuff from Tina would have hit, but it missed. So we might be able to pull a win out of somewhere where the sun doesn't shine uh, still yet. So let's see what happens. Okay, another crit versus So Kwon prompts a retaliation. One Hyo is using the AoE attack to try to take us down, but it missed Soquan. 
I thought that was a rather strange concession from, from the enemy just right there. I thought they maybe had a chance uh, in that match, but I guess they didn't think they did. So, you know, that's fine. They let us have the win. Me personally, I definitely would have rode that one out to see what happens. But, you know, that's okay. Maybe they were in a hurry. Maybe they had to go somewhere. Who knows? We never hold it against people for uh, forfeiting the match around here because everyone's time is precious. Everyone's time is valuable. Uh, speaking of which, I know you guys' time is valuable, so I'm going to go ahead and just call that the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my very first uh, regular PvP content. Uh, although I'd like to do event PvP again sometime because it's just incredibly fun. Uh, but anyway, that's where we're going to end it. So you guys have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you next time. This is Hemroid. Out. Take a roll here. Johnny Young Gat? Where's John Young Gat? No John Young Gat? <clears throat> yeah. Uh... Do you mean Jayon Young, huh? Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. Y'all wanna play. Okay then. I've got my eye on you. Johnny Young Gat? Oh, I'm not